Welcome back to another day of um, Shogun Total War 2 on the Web G6 channel. Hey, sounds like a real thing, doesn't it? Hey, really? That, look, just turn this microphone, speaker down a bit, actually. Yeah. Getting a bit of uh, feedback there. Um, I'm hoping I've turned the microphone up a little bit. It dropped in volume when I did the audio um, codex, but anyhow, without further ado, um, Very Very Richie told me a long time ago why I ignored the advice. I just don't know. Um, I think it's because I wasn't getting email notifications of comments at the time, but um, uh, the farmland in here, is it this one? No, it's not that one. Where is it? I don't even know where it is. Uh, there it is. If you look at that there, do you see where it says um, fertile soil? That means that if I upgrade that, it gets me um, a lot more money than I would. Um, if I, than it would if I'd upgraded elsewhere. Do you see uh, how much I'm getting now for um, for that? So you see on the left-hand side there, bottom left, 1,530 is what I'm getting at the moment. I, that will go up to 1,734. So in other words, it's going up by just over 200. So I'm going to get that. Um, if you look at the same scenario elsewhere, this is what he's pointing out to me, and I missed it. But um, if you look here, you see this one here is, um, uh, is only earning um, 1,147. If I were to upgrade that one, it would be 1300, which is what around about 150, isn't it? So um, distinctly better to do it in the capital. Why I didn't do this ages ago and choose that one, I just well, like I say, it has to only be that I missed it because of the um, uh, I don't know because of the email notifications. Anyway, okay, that done. Um, I want to uh, trade again with the Hattori, and where are we? Come on. I don't know what's wrong with this Hattori, but they keep stopping trade with me. Uh, I've no idea what's going on there, but anyway. I've got a request trade agreement. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can get a payment out of them again. I don't know, really don't know what's going on with them, why they are so willing to pay me money and everything. But anyway, try 500, see what that does. Uh, moderate chance of success. We'll give it a try, shall we? Um, cannot do this. Okay, let's try um, 400 then. Uh, payments. Um, demand payment. 400. And see what that does. Reached an agreement. This is weird, isn't it? So every turn they're paying me more money, they've given me a hostage, and it's all for a trade agreement. So I really don't understand what's going on with them. Oh, by the way, um, I, was it Ravenscraft who told me that if you hover over, there it is, it'll show you, um, you know, their relationship to you. So that's plus 20. And um, when you go in, like this one here on the Hattori, this is what he was talking about, if anybody read the comment, if you look over there, um, trade agreement, it tells you... Oh, he's only traded them. Cancel. Oh, it's only showing me cancel on that one. Oh, right, okay. If you... Oh, I don't know if there's one that I can do it with now. Um, so I'll do it with this. No, I've already got a trade... Ah, no, never mind. If you hover over it, it'll tell you what the value is of that trade agreement as well. So that's a pretty useful thing to know. Anyway, look, I, I'm really flying by the seat of my pants on this one. And I, 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 I tend to see... Uh, my viewers, if you like, as scouts out there finding information for me. You've been absolutely brilliant, you know, but um, uh, come on, you ninjas have got to up your game a bit. We've got to get you onto a different level here. <laughs> because I, I want to know these things. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to go for this anyway, because uh, I feel as though I'm going to need to. But um, if I look at the... Um, uh, in fact, no, let me, let me just go back to that a minute. If you just hover over there, can you see um, that that shows me on a plus 20 at the moment? So if I marry into their family or something, or allow them to marry somebody of mine, that will improve it. Does that then mean that the Shogunate is less likely to come and attack me when the time comes? What do I get out of that, you know? Um, or am I better off doing it with my ally, you know, giving, you know, wh when, when the Shogun turns on me, does that mean my ally is more likely to be loyal to me? I just do not know. And in fact, could you see me hovering over that now? It tells me my ally there is on a plus 40. So, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to try it anyway. Um, it's worth a try. Maybe I'm the only one experimenting with this. I don't know. I don't look at other people's videos, so I really have no idea. So what I'm going to do is um, arrange a marriage. 
I knew I had someone. There you go. She's 14 last time I looked. She's 22 now. So I'm going to offer her in marriage. Likelihood of success low. Oh, I thought they'd have wanted her. She's quite pretty. Proposal huh. straight and true as an arrow stuff, my lord, will accept. Good fortune favours all. So they've accepted it, even though it's on low. Hey, in fact, somebody said um, there's no point in doing anything if it's not on high. Well, I've just proved there that um, if it's on low, they will still do it. So if we go and have a look now at the Ashigara Shogunate, Look at that, we're on 125. Wow! The marriage between the clans was worth 100. So, does that mean then that the Shogunate um, is less likely to declare war on me when I become legendary? This is what we don't know, isn't it, really? And these are the kind of things that we need to know about. It's what um, Total War should have told us. It's what we should have been able to discover now from... Um, perhaps watching other people's games or going on forums. I really don't know how do we influence that. But I've gone for it anyway, so uh, maybe mine will be the test case. OK, let's um, go for my ninjas. See if I can get them doing something useful. This one up here. Hmm, OK. I'm going to get him doing something down here. I've already seen that place up there, so I don't need to see any more of it. Hang on, why is he going off the road? I don't want him off the road. Come on, stay on the road. Right, OK, it's this area here. What's that? That is... I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a Metsuka. Now, let's try killing the Metsuka then, shall we? How much is that going to cost me? 150 arts, oh, nothing that. Let's have a go. It's 80% as well. Might improve the skills of the ninja anyway. Is he going to reach? Yes. OK, let's watch this one. Some people like them. Well, there's two assassinations for the price of one now. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Target Baba Tarasu. Target location, so Shinano. Agent Akikani. Right, OK. So, close that one down. That's brilliant. Does he go up in value or anything? Does he increase his rank or something? No, no, he's quite... Oh, he's quite high anyway, actually. Five stars, so no, no wonder he's killing a Metsuka. Anyway, it's highlighted this area. Gives me an idea of what's there. And, um... That's a castle town, so I will need that um, farmland. Oh, it's fortuitous that I've done it, isn't it, actually? Didn't do that on purpose, I didn't realise. Um, oh, excuse me, I've just had tea. Uh, stuffed myself with pizzas. So, Right, OK, that's that one. And next, uh, where is it? Here we go. Uh, don't think I can really do anything with him, can I? Nothing. He's on his way anyway, so I'll just leave him to move when the time comes. Oh, chosen the same one. Right, OK. This one. What am I going to do with this one? Well, I can see what's in here, and that army is highlighting it anyway, so I don't really see much point in doing any more around there. So let's have a look around here. Um, ah, what's that? Farming. Let's go for that one. See if I can upset them a little. Ah, brilliant. Sorry I didn't show that one. I, I can't show them all. It would take up the whole of the video, wouldn't it? That's no good. Right, what's this? It's just a stronghold, that one, isn't it? Oh no, it's a castle town, it says. Hmm. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good, isn't it? Province Wealth, 1627. 
that's probably worth having, you know. I can't see what its speciality is. It just says Buddhist, doesn't it? Ah, now farmland plus three, it says there. Is that for the whole place or what? Because, I mean, that's quite good, isn't it? Oh, it's terrace farming he's got in there, isn't it? Hey, I tell you what, damaging that could have pretty critical effect on him, couldn't it? Because um, uh, if he's relying on that plus three... What was this one, anyway? Is this terrace farming? Uh, oh, that's philosophy. <laughs> They're not going to eat that, are they? Um, although some people maybe think you can eat philosophy, I don't know. What's this? It'll live on it, I mean. Meagre soil and it's improved irrigation. Ah, good. So he's only got get one for that, isn't he? So I think the Takeda could um, struggle a little bit because I've taken out that um, terraced farming because it's a plus three for him, isn't it? Right, OK. Um, my northern army, that's this one here, is in a position now to be able to attack. He can reach. I've looked closely at it and I can get up to here. All I need to do is attack him. Yep. Critical that I attack him. If I'd have gone for that by mistake, he'd have gone all the way around somewhere, or I don't know what he'd have done anyway. But um, anyway, look, I'm, I'm only going in against one spear. Unless, unless he comes out, I don't know what's in there, actually. Um, it didn't look like it was anything, to be honest. But anyway, nothing else is coming out, so I'm just going to take him out. I'll um, just take his spears out with my uh, my archers and perhaps gain a few chevrons, I don't know, or maybe one chevron. But I won't bother showing this one. It's a bit of a waste of everybody's time, I think, that, isn't it? Well, there's another so-called heroic victory. Um, not much fun to watch that one, really. Just um, invite him to come in, surround him with uh, archers. Well, not surround him, make a crescent of archers around him. And then just, um, I don't know, just destroy him easily, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, with the um, arrows. OK, I'm going to take this place out next um, and again I hope that this will be another foregone conclusion. hope we can reach. Yes we can. Brilliant. Again, I won't be showing this one. I really don't see any point. Um, it's just going to be um, standing off at a distance, you know, like we did before. Archers on one side, archers on the other. Being able to shoot in as close to the centre as possible and then just blow them away with those archers. It's as simple as that really. Well, another great success. I could get used to this. Um, the only problem is, at what point do I become legendary when the ninja attack me and all my allies, or my ally and my um, vassals all turn against me? It's all a bit of a... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go for vassal anyway here. Uh, not sure if it's the right thing to do, but that's what I'm going to go for. Uh, see if I can get a trade agreement out of them as well while I think about it right now. I don't even know who they are. Um, is it these? Must be these. Vassal? Yes, they're the ones. Right, uh, trade agreement. I wonder if they'll pay me something as well. I don't know if I should ask. Uh, request trade agreement. Uh, seems a bit silly, doesn't it, to ask a part for a payment, really, doesn't it? <laughs> no, come on. Let's have a go. Demand payment. 1,000. Does that do it? Moderate. There's a chance, isn't there? Uh 100. Well, I'll take that then. Um, I'll take that. Trade agreement plus 100. I'm quite happy with that, thank you very much. They're my vassal anyway, so... Right. So I get half their wealth. And they're worth... Um, how much? Uh, 1125, so I should get... Well, 550, 560, something like 562 and a half, is it? Something like that from that, so we'll settle for that. Um, I should have, I'm looking for it now, now this is the occasion when I should use these. Ah, ha, there he is. Uh, let's have him and put him in there with these. Oh, of course he can't get in, can he? Hmm. Never mind. At least he's in the right place, that's the main thing. Let's just turn this back again though so I don't get mixed up. Uh, that's about right, isn't it? I wish there was a button where you could write it, you know, get it back to um, looking north. That would be the best thing, wouldn't it? Actually, I wonder if they could take him... No, they can't take those. I can't send spears after them, can I? Uh, not that good, I'm afraid. Right, um, can't move these yet, can I? No, of course not. Um, I'm wondering, though, about sending these somewhere. Somewhere where they might be useful. 
they're not going to get anywhere, are they? That's the thing. I think wherever I move those, I'm going to end up with a problem because. Oh no, hang on a minute. I wonder if maybe I could move them over to over to here. This area might need some reinforcements, might it? Let's let's get them over there. I think so. Won't do them any harm to have some spears amongst them as well, will it? Because they've just got um, monk archers at the moment, and anything that wants to attack them has got to come through me in order to get there as well, hasn't it? So, and if I lose them on the way, if there's something up there, it'll expose them, won't it? So, okay, let's go for that. Um, now, the other thing that I wanted to do was um, get some uh, more recruits here. Wherever they are, here. Is it called Sagami or something? There it is, yeah. These can't move yet, we've looked at those already. Um, but I'm thinking about just getting some more bowmen in here. Um, because basically I recruited some before, which means I've got a space now, a slot, where I can get some more normal bowmen. I just want normal bowmen. The idea is that if I can get enough of them, um, I can maybe just take this place back from the rebels. Um, it was the Hojo territory, if you remember. It's very rich, it's got um, gold in the place, you know, so I definitely want that. As for my ships, I think I've already moved those. Let's just have another quick look. Where are you? Right, yeah. Oh, I could move them again, but I think they're probably in the right place, aren't they, really? They're blockading, which isn't actually, when I think about it, much use to me, because he hasn't got a trade route through there anyway, has he? Are those his? Oh, he's showing me what he's got. Trade ships. That's all he's got, trade ships. Oh, do you know, if only I could get, you know, somebody to shove them out of there, you know, so I, I wonder if it works with this, like it does in NTW and ETW and the others, you know, you put somebody in there, it pops them out there, but anyway, I don't know. Let's do the end turn, see what the enemy can think of about all that one then. Looking on the top map, it's looking quite healthy, isn't it, really? That sort of pinkish area that used to be Takeda, um, that's now a vassal, of course, so I've got two vassals connected to one another across there. But the main thing is, it keeps down my exposure to two places, one in the south um, and one up there in the north, or it will do. You know, the one where I've got the, the three monk... Oh, dear. Right. Ah, now this is the place... He's got... Oh, no, I didn't know he had a... Oh, I remember. I, um... Wounded his general, didn't I? I didn't kill him, which means the general has now come back. Right, well, I'm going to fight this. This could be an interesting one, so I'll do a save replay on this, and you might be able to watch the battle then. So it could be quite interesting. Um, we're defending a bridge. Yeah, you can imagine how I do it anyway. But uh, let's let's get on to it, and then I'll show you the results. Well, here we are in the middle of the bridge battle. Um, first thing I have to do is apologise for the quality of this. It took me ages to find out where the bridge was and where the ford was. I know it shows it on that top right map there, but finding it actually on the campaign map is something quite different. And of course, I wasn't able to line up um, in front of the ford either. I've had to move towards that. I've divided up my forces. I'll show you what I've got. I've got my advanced spearmen. Um, that's these. Is it these? The... no. Uh yeah, it is. The Yari um, Samurai. I've got up here. They're my um, uh, better quality um, spear-armed infantry. I'll put those up to the Ford, uh, backed up with the uh, horse over here, and also with some um, Katana Samurai. The idea is that if his general were to come across here, to charge across the Ford, I've got some spearmen to uh, to beat him with. Um, if he comes off across with loads of spearmen, then I've got my swordsman to be able to beat him back with. And of course, if he comes back with nothing at all, or he's beaten easily, doesn't give me enough, then I've got my light horse, which I intend to move around here and attack round the other side which is uh, oh gosh it's awful to look at this isn't it um, over to here so he's got a mixture of bowmen and spearmen and his general at the back somewhere uh, probably over here um, is it that one yeah there's his general kept at the back he's got to struggle with all of that lot getting them over this bridge uh, where I'm waiting over the other side and of course um, I'll have my archers in a position yeah well they're getting there at the moment should be. No, they're going to need to move a bit closer than that, I think. I don't think they're quite there yet. But anyway, the archers um, will be shooting when the enemy get to here, and my men will be attacking from this side and this side, sword infantry, and then in front of my archers will be my spear infantry, so that if he goes across with his cavalry first, then um, 
uh, he'll run into my spears. That's that's the plan anyway. So if he comes across, um, just like this in a big huddle, then we'll be able to charge him from each side and we should be able to finish him off. Now it looks as though he's not sending anything this way at all, over this way, but I, I don't know that. So I'll have to stay over there waiting just in case. So we're waiting for the possibility, because it isn't too far for him to um, portion off some of his troops um, and send them this way. Literally a division. So, right, okay, let's have a look over here. Um, see if I can find that bridge again. Let me hear somewhere. There it is. Here he comes. Now, bows should be able to reach from here. There we go. In go the first lot of bows, uh, arrows rather. Taking from 150 down to 100. Oh, where's he gone? Uh, where are we? I thought I'd hit some. I can't see what I've hit now. There. 120 out of 100. Oh, it's the bows. Oh, we hit the bows. That was a pain, actually. I don't think I wanted to hit the bows. Maybe it's because they were at the back when I shot my... Um, oh, come on. I want to see these go in. Right, OK. Here they come. And in go my swordsmen. From the side. And from the front. Uh, my arrows should be hopefully going over the top and not be hitting my own men. I'm continually um, changing where I'm shooting those arrows, bringing the archers forward so they don't shoot at too close range and shoot over the heads of these. I'm particularly picking on his general um, at the back there because his general is clogged up um, at the back of the bridge, unable or hardly able to get through. I should be able to demonstrate in here how my swordsman are superior. Oh, actually, we're looking at my, um, my spear. We're looking at... Oh, hang on. Who's we looking at? Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, we're looking at his spearmen there, aren't we? These are my swordsmen. He seems to be uh, pulling out some swords as well there, doesn't he? I wonder if there is bow armed infantry. No, they're the Yari Ashigaru. Ah, maybe he's um, given up his um, spears and he's fighting with his swords instead. These are the, um, the Nodachi, aren't they? The Nodachi Dojo, I think. The ones with the, um, the long spears. Might be wrong. It says Katana Samurai there. I thought there were the no Dutchy, but maybe not. Yeah, we're making short work of his men there, who just seem to have abandoned the spear. They just decided it's a complete waste of time. There is Yari Ashigaru, and they're not using the spears. Right, well, I, I've brought my troops across here now, thinking you'll have seen them come across on the upper map. Here they come. The Katana Samurai, they were going to go operating on the other side of the bridge. These are some of his men that would have come round, could have, would have come round on the flank if I hadn't have sent them in. Managed to get them in in time. And um, now I know they're only spear infantry, but they're going in against spear infantry. Well, yeah, they should be. Let's have a look. What have we got here now? That's right, they're the Katana Samurai, aren't they? They went in against his um, spear armed infantry on the side there. Ah, now that looks like he might have got a general out around there as well. My general's dismounted and moving in, having um, uh, already, uh, what, what's the word, um, oh blimey, there's his general, isn't I didn't realise his general got in there, actually, but uh, yeah, my general's on foot um, and fighting through the middle there, just in front of my archers at the moment. Um, my archers I've disabled now, so that they're no longer shooting. Uh, there we go, they're broken, the look of it, they're going backwards anyway. Fantastic scene, isn't it, hey? Do you know, I should have taken the flags off, shouldn't I, when I did this? Next time I think I will. More Yari Ashigaru going through. That's the last of them now. Um, you'll notice I've brought my cavalry round now. I've moved all my other troops that were on the other side um, round to support the, uh, the normal side of the bridge. These here I brought round this side. Now, I wasn't expecting some of his men to run away, so I was going to hit them as they were running away. Uh, but none were. 
So I sent my men in the back here, my horse in the back here. Where are we? There we go. I tried to pick out his bow armed infantry, but there's Yari Ashigari there. Not really what I wanted to go into, but we're going into the back of them anyway, so gave us a distinct advantage. Okay, look at that. All to all people. It's just incredible, isn't it? There. There you can pick out what's going on in each of those little encounters. There you go. Horseman dragged off his horse there. I think that's a general, by the way. That's his general. Yeah, we've hit the back where his general are as well. You can see my men now pushing him back to the bridge. And, of course, my horsemen on the other side of the bridge pushing into him there as well. So, really, it's all over. It really is all over at this point. Although he's not... Um, well, I hardly even... See. Oh, we've got one unit wavering there. Other than that, it looks as though he's standing, doesn't it? But spearmen caught on all sides, bowmen as well, um, being attacked on all sides, including the rear as well. They really don't stand much of a chance. It's amazing they've been able to stand this long. You see, these here, although they're shaken, um, they've still got 97 men left there, out of 150. And they're just where the bridge is as well, aren't they? So presumably they're at the back, so they've been fairly safe from my sword infantry. Well, you can see everything now looks blue, and that's because his men have simply given up the ghost. They've had it. They're all routing, uh, but they have nowhere to go. Bodies lying around here. Huh! Who's that? Somebody flying in the air. Okay, that was with a pause on there, by the way, of course. Doesn't normally happen that way. Right, okay, my general um, should be now rushing back to his horses. Um, or rather he should be rushing his general's bodyguard back to the horses. Um, idea being, where are we? We're on the wrong side, aren't we? Oh, we're on a pause now in the battle, aren't we? This is the point when I was thinking, well, um, is it worth continuing? Because he's routing everywhere. In fact, it looks like on the battle replay here that it's not going to play anymore. Because all I did from here really was go... Um, uh, go chasing him off the battlefield. So you can see my general here. He's running back to his horses over here. Uh, which are here somewhere. I mount them up and I chase everybody off the battlefield. I don't end battle. I just keep going for it. So anyway, it looks like it's um, it's it's ended the battle replay there because that's the point at which it was confirmed that I definitely won the battle. So it obviously doesn't get to the point where you can do continue. It's still showing the, the end battle part, isn't it? So... You go, look at the madness and mayhem around there. Okay, and I'll show the battle results. Well, before I do that, the um, general has got back to his horses. So I'll just show you mounting those up, um, ready to chase the enemy from the battlefield. There we go, little balloons on the back there. And off they go. And obviously from now, it's just chasing the routers from the field, as you can see on the top map there. Well, I just thought it was fun to watch that little bit as well. Well, if the uh, Takeda want to run spear-armed infantry across bridges at me when I've got um, sword samurai at the other side, then they've got another thing coming, haven't they, really? I mean, light cavalry whisked around the back, of course, as you remember. And look at the number of kills that they got there. It's mainly bows at the back and then sorting anybody out afterwards. But everybody's done really well. I mean, the general didn't go into the lake because I wanted him there to rally if necessary and to inspire. So look at that, 204 killed, yeah, for 20 lost. And absolutely no chevron gained. Where is the sense in that? I do not understand it. Maybe it's just because of the quality of people that they were killing. I really don't know. But anyway, picked up some nice chevrons. So, fairly pleased about that. So, tack it in. If that's the best you've got to offer, then I'm afraid you're dead. You're a dead clan. Diplomacy. Peace treaty. Ah, what are you willing to give me for this peace treaty, eh? Hey? What are you willing to give me? Uh, I would want you to... Who are you allied to at the moment? Sakai? 
Hmm. Maybe break alliance with them. Are you going to give me... Okay, I want full military access. Okay. I'll walk straight through your lands. Um, and... I'll have you break your alliance with the Saikai. Let's see how desperate you really are. Um, I'll have you on a trade embargo with the Sakai. Demand trade embargo with the Sakai. Yeah. And I will have you paying me an extortionate amount of money. Like 5,000. You're going to go for that? If you don't go for that, you're not having it. Look success low. Ha! Okay. All our words have been wasted. You're damn right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Takeda, you declared war on me. You're dead. It's as simple as that. I'm not messing about. It's, uh, you know, with things like that. I can't afford to leave enemies at my back. And if you remember from uh, when I was explaining my overall strategy, I want to get to this point here, looking at the top right map there, that thin point there. So I've got a minimum number of um, border provinces with the enemy. I don't know what's going to happen with allies uh, over here and vassals. And I haven't got a clue about that. It's all very new to me, that kind of thing. So I don't remember it in the original Shogun Total War. You know, this um, realm divide threat that's hanging over my head. But anyway, oh, European powers. Hey, I saw pirates then as well. I'm sure I saw pirates then. Oh, bastard. Excellent. Excellent. That is... Just the one I want. I'm not sure I want Way of the Spear though. That's worth five, isn't it? I want to go Way of the Sea and I want to get myself some better quality troops. Um, it's only um, three as well, isn't it, really? Movement range for all ships. Uh, enables fleet to engage in night battles. That's good. Enables recruitment and replenishment of firebomb caballo. So, yes, I want to be sort of moving through improving those kind of troops. Spears, I'm not so interested in the rank. In rank. Please, no, it's good. You don't want should. Trade disrupted. Amoco. Trade between our clan and valued allies no longer possible. Right, well, I'll have to go for that then, won't I? And this is why I keep forgetting to upgrade my generals, because um, it's at the end of a turn and I'll probably have to finish a video or something, don't I? Right, now this is the one I really wanted to be good at sea, so he's going to be an admiral. Oh, hang on a minute. What's this? Strategist. Right, OK. And admiral. He's the first stage of admiral. He's going back to see him as soon as he gets an opportunity. I hope, anyway. OK, um, I'll just... Before I um, end this turn, I know I've run out of time again, I always do. Oh, you can't reach. That's a pain. No, I am going to end turn. What's going wrong with that one? My issue next is whether to go on and take this place, or attempt to, or whether to move up here and take this, thinking that, well, at the moment, he's... Um, uh, He's perhaps vulnerable to an attack there. This is a high grossing area. I can make a lot of money out of that because of a gold mine that's sitting here. And I do want that extra wealth. There's no doubt about it. It's whether I've done enough to hold him off for now. That's the thing. Okay, right. I'm going to have to end it at that. And um, I hope you enjoyed that battle anyway. I certainly did.